Now, effect of nuclear charge and shielding effect are two factors here that are going to determine whether atoms are going to get smaller or larger. The effect of nuclear charge is a calculation that approximates the attractive force that a valence electron is going to feel from the nucleus. And in this equation, Z effective is the effect of nuclear charge. Z is the number of protons in the nucleus, and since the protons are all tightly packed in the nucleus, we treat that as one particle, even though it's multiple particles. We treat it as one particle with a large charge because of the concentration in the center. S represents the number of core electrons, and since the repulsive forces of the inner electrons, the you know, electrons are negative and they're going to repel each other, these core electrons are going to block the attraction of the valence electrons. I put that in quotes because they're not actively blocking it, but in a sense it's causing the nucleus, the protons in the nucleus, to not have the attractive force for the outermost electrons as much as if there were no electrons in between them. We call this blocking effect the shielding effect. And Let's look at an, an example here. If we look at the two electrons that are in the first energy level, there is nothing between them and the nucleus. For that reason, the strongest attraction is going to be between the nucleus and the very first energy level because there's nothing in between them. When we get to the second energy level, we have the first energy level electrons between the nucleus and the second energy level. So those first energy level electrons are going to repel outwards a little bit those second energy level electrons the effect isn't all that great because it's only two electrons in the first energy level and they are also further apart. When we get to the third energy level we see that these the second and third energy level are a little closer together the repulsion is going to be a little bit greater so that shielding effect is going to be enhanced somewhat. We now have the first and second energy level electrons between the nucleus and the third energy level reducing the attraction. We get to the fourth energy level, it becomes even greater. Now I wasn't able to show it, but there are actually 18 electrons between the in the third energy level. So we have a total of 28 electrons in between the nucleus and the fourth energy level. So our shielding effect is getting greater and greater. Think of it as like sitting in the front row versus sitting in the back row in class. Those people in the front row are able to see the board much more easily than the people in the back row because the back row has people in rows between them that makes it harder for them to see the board. In a sense, that's kind of what's happening here with the electrons. The electrons in the outermost energy levels, the attraction between them and the nucleus is being reduced because of all of the electrons building up between them in the nucleus. So those core electrons are the electrons that are causing that reduced attraction.